Now, when it comes to a good thriller, Linda LaPlante really is the queen of crime. With over 25 years of gripping television and 12 international best-selling novels under her belt, she is back with a brand new crime thriller, Above Suspicion. The last thing we want at this stage is for him to go down the no comment route. If that happens, we're looking at months on the case, right? You follow protocol, right? Don't forget to caution him again. I'll be right there with you. It's imperative we get full, detailed confessions of these murders. All right, give me a minute. Does she know what she's letting herself in for? If she screws up, the press will have a field day. You, uh, you think she can handle it, boss? Of course she can. She's Jack Travis's girl. Travis's uh, daughter, which means she's got a lot to live up to. Welcome, Linda. Lovely Thank to see you. Thank now, you. part one of that went out last night. Yes. And apparently, you were just telling me, beat everything on the night. Yes, huge success. It's, it's so nice because really dramas now are dependent on numbers mm, um, and if you don't get high viewing figures you're off yeah so um, well if you don't get high viewing but, figures I think there's any hope for yeah, anybody exactly <laughs> oh, um, thank you <laughs> so that now you might be sitting here and thinking oh, i missed it Blast! they're kicking themselves but yeah. worry part two is tonight can you fill them in on last night's episode this is a new young police officer woman yeah. this is her first murder inquiry and her father was a brilliant policeman and she had to live up to his reputation basically what i wanted to do was put a, a, a different slant on uh, the crime drama because we have so many mostly written by myself <laughs> <laughs> we do have a lot on the tv and so i, I wanted to come back and show viewers what it's like for a very young police officer and so so much of it is from her point of view yeah from a cadaver, from the interrogation, from... And so the realization that these women ate dead prostitutes are all connected mm. is really her link. She starts to... And we actually are with her investigating, and the prime suspect is played by a wonderful actor, Jason Durr, and uh, he's asked her to the ballet, mm. and we open with her is he the killer isn't he the killer mm. um, and and kelly kelly riley who's who's anna is the absolute perfect choice she's wonderful <laughs> she's marvelous because again there was an expression on her face last night when she was listening to the mother of the victim saying please help find her killer and there was this fleeting look of her face of such pain and you see the harder and the longer you're in a murder team, you lose that mm. compassionate or visible compassionate mm. look to you. You have it maybe at home. Yeah. Um, and, and that is what we're getting from her. And she's remarkable. Mm. Lovely. And she's actress. based on a real life young yes. person that you know. Yes. Um, I was just doing my usual research, hunting around, and I met this young policewoman who was so a bit in the face, over eager. And uh, she was so excited because she just got into a murder team for the first time and plain clothes. And then I saw her again and she said, oh, I didn't like it. She had been really in a very, very awful case. Mm. And, it had wounded, and I thought, ah, oh, that's very interesting. Because when I first went to, um, to see an autopsy, I lied, just as the character in my show did. And they said to her, have you been? Oxy Linda. I said, oh yes, yes I'm fine, yes. And you gown up and I'm thinking, you know, I wish I hadn't lied about this. And there was this cadaver, but she was kind of hidden by a lot of green coated detectives. And suddenly the pathologist said, uh, there are a lot of gases here. Never mind, okay, stand back. And I had no idea. What a corpse smelled like. Well, not only a, lot of, that, a lot of people say that. Yeah. But what a sound when they make that Y incision. Yeah. And it was, this, it just sounded like a very long, low fart. <laughs> and, and on that note, well, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> <laughs> and that is tonight at 9 o'clock. Yes, not too much. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. <laughs>